what's up guys Hayne here bringing you another tutorial and uh, this tutorial will be more of a tutorial that will help you get better lighting into your renders because if you have noticed um, if you do try to use like make a nice render and something like that it doesn't come out the way you want it to it's probably due to the lighting so I'm gonna show you a tutorial on good render settings that will help your lighting and uh, so you can have correct settings in Cinema 4D. So we're gonna start off with output. And what I usually do is I put 1900 by 1080, which is, um, if you didn't know, this resolution is 1080p, and then 1280 by 720 is 720p. So always use 1900 by 1080 for uh, 1080p resolution. And then what you want to do is you want to go to save, and then here is where you're going to get your format and all that stuff. So, assuming that you're making a render for a banner or whatever you're going to make, um, if you've noticed, if you render it out, it's going to come with a black background, and you obviously want the, the render to be transparent so you can add it to a banner or something like that. So what you want to do is to fix this problem all you have to do is uh, check alpha channel which makes the, uh, the render transparent so there is no black background or any of that and then what you want to do next is you want to go to format and you want to make it a um, JPEG for uh, transparent and then once you do that you want to go file and you just want to click this like triple dot thing and then this is going to open up and you can just save it wherever so I'm just going to put it to my desktop and for like you always want to name it so I'm just gonna name it that so if you're making a Lightroom uh, every time you you won't have to do this every time you make a render you'll just have to click render if you do these settings in your Lightroom so also if you do download a Lightroom if it always says like there's like an error like you can't find the path or something like that it's due to the fact that this file right here is saved to their computer type deal so you just have to click this save it to wherever you want and then that'll fix a problem next what you want to do is you want to go to effect and you want to go global illumination now what this does this makes render times a lot longer if you don't edit the settings at all like it can make a huge difference because it'll make the lighting much much better but due to a render um, the settings I'm, I'm about to show you really doesn't make that much a difference, but it does shorten the uh, render times much, but glo glo global illumination is what makes uh, the shadows really good. So what you want to do is you want to go to Iridian's Cache, and you want to change record density to uh, low, or, um, yeah, just low. But if you have a really good computer this isn't really gonna matter that much but for people who have all right to slow computers this is really gonna help you and then for smoothing you just want to put this to minimal and for here if this is not on least squares put it to least squares so once you do that uh, that's pretty much the basics of uh, the render settings you should do but if you look at these you could add a whole bunch of other other things you could have like position pass which I I don't know what that does I haven't really messed with it depth of field stuff like that um you could use this if you would like uh, stereoscopic which I use sometimes and then but this is pretty much the basics of the render settings um, the, re the settings I just showed you is going to get you a 1080p transparent render, which is basically all you need for stuff that I usually do. But you can experiment with all of these just to get maybe a little bit better. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Uh, so stay tuned for uh, Monday for our speed art. So uh, peace.